We're breaking into programming this morning for a special report on breaking news. We have been covering a tense situation for you in Horace, North Dakota. The Red River Valley SWAT team has been on the scene of a home in the south part of Horace for over four hours now. A code red alert was sent out to people in the area as well to shelter in place. But we're hearing now that it may have come to a possible resolution. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer has been covering this breaking story for us, and she joins us live now with the latest. What are you hearing, Melanie? We have just confirmed this nearly four and a half hour long standoff has been resolved. And joining me now is Sergeant Tim Brighaman from the Cass County Sheriff's Department. So Tim did everything and peacefully as planned. Yeah, and, and that's uh, the important factor that I want to state. The, the outcome that this community prayed for, the outcome that law enforcement trains for um, was achieved. And we had that successful resolution uh, shortly after 10.05 uh, this morning. Uh, the individual was taken into custody uh, and is currently being transported to the Cass County Jail. You know, law enforcement uh, through the, the SWAT negotiations had continuously, uh, and you guys had heard some of that traffic through the Bearcat, and other means attempted to make contact. Uh, we were very fortunate there was some movement inside the residence. Um, the individual uh, had opened the door and, and engaged in conversation uh, with our SWAT operators uh, and through some commands, uh, completely complied, uh, and again was taken into custody without further incidents and with uh, no injuries sustained to any law enforcement uh, as well as a responsible party. And what kind of charges could this man be facing? Right now, and I, I will um, advise uh, the individuals, uh, a 51-year-old male named Lance Belgard. Uh, the charges he's currently looking at are terrorizing, burglary, felonious restraint, and interfere with a 911 call. How is he connected to the people in the house? We're not going to get into a lot of those specifics right now, Don, just based off the fact uh, of this investigation. Um, that information can be released a little bit later. And the people who were inside the home, the original homeowners, they made it out safely, correct, without any problems? Yep, uh, correct. There were two victims that were inside the house uh, when entry was made, uh, and they had evacuated, obviously, well into, or excuse me, at the, the beginning of this incident. So there was no injury sustained from that standpoint. Uh, and Lance was the only individual inside the residence once law enforcement arrived uh, and started doing that negotiations. Can you, do you know, Tim, if uh, the guns, he had the guns before he entered the house? Uh, I had heard it was shotguns. I don't know if there were guns in the house or what I, I don't even know if that's the case but and i don't know the specifics no. uh what i can tell you is there was absolutely a gun that was involved with this incident uh, whether he had it on his person when he made entry or whether it was inside the house i don't have that answer for you okay. so just confirm again no shots fired nobody injured in this whole ordeal correct no shots fired no injuries to the the responsible party any victims and or a law enforcement that was on scene so again we talked earlier um you employ your tactics to bring this to a peaceful resolution uh and that was achieved today down in horse Thank you, Tim, for speaking with us. Absolutely. And stay with us here on Valley News Live. As we said, everything did end peacefully after a nearly four and a half hour long standoff. But we'll be continuing to have more information throughout this day. In Horace, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. Melanie, thank you so much for that update on breaking news. And she is right. Remember to watch Valley News Live throughout the day for updates as well as online at valleynewslive.com. We'll have another report for you coming up on Valley News Live at noon. Thanks for joining us for this special report.